on my way. Open up. to put my hands on everything. Everyone subscribes to what it I have something to ask. <sighs> it's a sad day in the maid. A sad and bloody day. <sighs> Captain Grizzly's dead. And my only comfort is you off their killer. A god's damned hag of all things. Not a clue. My head's still melted. Feels like I've been sucking on fog for days. All I know is I had one job. Protect my captain. <laughs> and I failed. She left me the maid. And while it won't be the same without her, no, you're always welcome here, mate. No more and the so, where are you taking me out and next port? I'm thinking... expensive. Nowhere, if you don't finish your drink and move. Sweet, sweet girl. I doubt I'll ever sleep again. But fear shall be swiped from under my nose. Here, a token from the pirate life I left behind. Thank you for being braver than half this city put together. Everything is going to be all right. Mommy. Bloody look where they're walking. The Gazette's right. Folk these days. Thank you. 
hiding here? I should speak up. She's dead, isn't she? Ethel is dead. doesn't fix anything, but damn, does it feel amazing. Thank you. Oh, I wish I could have done it myself. But you were the next best thing. Here. Call this a small thank you. I look forward to finally being able to sleep with both eyes shut. Clint can't believe you killed the Auntie Ethel. You're amazing. Should you ever have a need of a cleric of Helm, I shall be there. You have my word. Oh, you hear that, baby? We can get it off your chest. All anyway. Of we just go and we'll let what's his name and his toy soldiers take. I think next time we'll hold our meeting inside. Welcome thee to the Devil's Fee, where every hellish curio's a rarity. So merry be, and shop with glee. Oh no. Definitely something up with this one. Trust me. You must be awfully familiar with our esteemed Archduke to know about a thing like that. Truly. That's remarkable. I like to deal with remarkable people. Very well. You seek answers. Lord Mammon seeks coin. I will happily mediate. Make me an offer. Mammon. I knew it. I did. The first hit's free, eh? Oh, fine. I'll humor you, mortal. Just this once. You stand before Mammon's Picklock, latchkeeper of the Nine Hells. 
My business is not information, nor hellish curios. Not really. I break people into the hells. That's my thing. I can reveal to you that I opened a portal for Lord Gortash. <laughs> my word, this is embarrassing. Perhaps I should have explained our terms better. You asked what I did for Lord Gortash. You paid the fee and I answered you. Our pact is complete. Would you like to make another transaction? <laughs> now, now. That would be but a drop in Mammon's oceanic coffers. You can do better. Oh, yes. I should think that'll do deliciously. Lord Gortash wanted to steal something from Mephistopheles, so I punched a portal into the Archdevil's dusty vaults. And then I... Oh, gosh. My fickle memory failed. I mean, I suppose that'll do. Stingy bastard. Gortash stole the crown of Carsus, pissed off Mephistopheles, but rather intrigued another devil by the name Raphael. His House of Hope is furnished with a great deal of treasures, many related to Carsus. But alas, he lacks the crown itself. He's rather ambitious. One can only wonder what he has planned for the crown. The answers to that can probably be found within his house. Perhaps it's time we paid Raphael a visit. What a fascinating proposition. Ludicrous, of course, but fascinating nevertheless. Very well. If you wish to die in Avernus, that's your business. Mine is charging you for it. Of course, such a task will require quite the substantial donation to Lord Mammon's coffers. Such a task would be tantamount to suicide. Do not even entertain it. You put me in a difficult position, mortal. You are almost certain to fail. Almost. And so, there is a chance you might succeed. Fine. I'd like to be able to carry all of my precious stock without the need of a team of oxen. There are gauntlets of hill giant strength within the House of Hope. Free passage, and you fetch them for me. Deal? Allow me to outline how this is going to work. First, you were never here. We never spoke. Second, you will perform the rites yourself. I want absolute deniability. Here's the grimoire and necessary components. Oh, take this key, too. It unlocks the ritual room upstairs. There's a blood circle already drawn. Don't ask whose blood. Along with the grimoire and components, Helsic hands you a note containing precise instructions for performing the ritual. Finally, you were never here. That is of utmost import to remember. Now be gone! That's curious. I strongly suggest that you reconsider this course of action.
There is no reason to provoke him by invading his home. It won't be so kind to you. As the woman speaks, you hear a distant rattle of chains, and she winces in pain. <sighs> the jailer will hear us. I shouldn't be talking to you. I must go. It's not kind to me. The figure flickers and starts to dim from view, but you sense she could be convinced to return. The figure shimmers brightly. Your words seem to have piqued her curiosity. Who am I? Oh, it's my favorite question. I scream it into the dark while I sleep and whisper it to my memories when I wake. I'm the thing that kills you and the only reason you're alive. Made by a promise and done by the truth. A handshake, a hug, the first beat of a newborn's heart. I am hope. What little is left of her. A guttering candle in a universe of night. Raphael's driven her mad. Poor soul. I'm not much of a friend to anyone anymore. But I could use a friend myself. Do you want a friend to guide you through this madhouse? I hear the jailer. It hears me. It'll call Raphael, make every question count. Make some of them count twice! Discovered an ancient git prince in need of a savior? The Orphic Hammer is the perfect tool for breaking all infernal chains. Hope can help! The hammer is here in this house. It's... You hear a sound like the rattle of a chain, and an agonizing scream in your head as Hope flickers from view momentarily. Shh. here is mad. Even you, especially me. And that makes them dangerous, but it also makes them stupid. I'll make you seem as ruined as the rest of the people here. A simple glamour to make you a terrible wretch. <laughs> now whisper your questions, little wretch, but really quiet and very clever. Concentrate. Down the corridor past the debtors. Oh, the debtors. They won't like you. But I like you. I know I do. I think I do. I hope I do. I just need to ask one question and I'll know for sure. No, 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 no. It's my turn. I never asked this of anybody. Nobody was capable. Nobody was worthy. Nobody was good enough. But you. You have it all. Can you save me? Please, 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 please. All right. You have to listen very, very, very closely. I will say this only once. Find the key, take the hammer, smash my chains. Find the key, take the hammer, smash my chains. Find the key, take the hammer, smash my chains. But be careful, when you take the hammer, the fire will come, and Raphael, you must run, 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 run! But don't forget me. Please, please, please. 
I don't want to burn. Not again. We won't. We'll get you out. I promise. The rattle of chains echoes louder from unseen places. And without a scream or a sigh, hope disappears. There's nothing. one another. Which one will be the meat and which one will be the tooth? I am a man. Yes, my whiskers itch and my tail does twitch, but I am a man. for speaking is steep, but I must give warning. Your prize is just ahead in the archive, but you can't take it yet. And even if you could, you mustn't. Trigger the alarm, and Raphael will come swooping home on wings of malice to rip out your soul. In this house, thieves are melted like butter and spread onto toast. Shh. I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. I can, I shall, I can, I shall. The archivist is the key, but he's as stubborn as a king and as serious as a heart attack. Exploit his fiddling weakness and make him grovel! Oh no. They hear me. Speak quickly, speak softly. You know how this goes. You study your mind and prepare your questions. Sister, my sister! What have you done? Sold me for soul scraps, or met me for fun. My dearest sister Carilla is in there too. Pretending to browse the collection, acting all nonchalant. She's up to something. She won't let me escape. Not never, ever, never, ever. Without the hammer. It can shatter all infernal chains, including those that hold me. 
I will endure till you find me. Hope always does. And when you do find me, we will rip out their gizzards. But first, go get the hammer. Once you do, the house will bear its teeth, and you'll only have a few minutes to get me out of my prison before Raphael arrives. And then it all comes tumbling down! The master is very indulgent of you, Carilla. But I will not let you bring disorder into the archive. I'm not bringing anything, you little false god. I'm just here to watch the story unfold. Well, what? Can't resist the faintest hint of a temptation, can you? I suppose that makes two of us. That little disguise Hope gave you is adorable. I can see right through it, of course. And so will Raphael. He's going to notice you nosing around his house. I hope you're ready to face a very angry devil. Why don't you run off and tell him, Carilla? You love tattling to Daddy, don't you? Poor deluded Hope. She's stubborn. Raphael loves stubborn. If she'd just agreed to serve him, he'd probably have released her a long time ago. As things stand, she's his favorite toy. We're all mad here. But Hope and Hell? Why? That's the definition of insanity. Raphael offered her the world. She didn't want it. He sweetened the deal. She said no. No matter how many times he upped the ante, she just laughed in his face. He didn't like that. Eventually, he took her by force, trapped her and swore he wouldn't let her go till she gave him what he wanted. Conversion. The stubborn ass has endured more torment than any soul should be able to. Even when he took all of her skin, she held on to hope. Raphael finds that puzzling. And he loves puzzles. You being here is another puzzle. You don't seem like you want to die. You want my advice? Enjoy whatever life remains to you. When Raphael catches you, you'll never enjoy anything again. A guest? Are you a client of the Master, or a visitor from elsewhere in the Hells? I do not believe you were invited. One moment. I shall consult the visitor's schedule. Hmm. His eyes flicker back and forth as if he is reading a book. He has the schedule memorized, or it's carved into his eyelids. Mm, most irregular. The schedule is all but clear, and yet you are here. A fine pair of gauntlets that allow the wearer to twist the head from even the most resilient malingerer. An amulet that causes the blood to surge and the heart to swell, along with other parts, mm, most invigorating. And awaiting installation, we have secured a rod that gathers the weave around it in great quantities, just as surely a shit gathers flies. And of course, the Orphic Hammer itself is the prize of the collection. Yes, nasty little gadfly. I'd swat her if the Master wasn't so fond of tormenting her. Gods, I hate the hells. Be my guest. Even if you're not scheduled for an appointment, this is a civilized place. As long as you don't remove any of the artifacts, nobody will remove your skin. 
Unless Master Raphael decides otherwise, of course. Have you indeed? That's splendid. The Orphic Hammer is one of Master Raphael's most prized possessions. You can't have it. You can't even touch it. And I would suggest you don't think about it. <laughs> Long centuries of pain and suffering must be making me sentimental. If the hammer can save millions of souls, who am I to stand in your way? After all, a saved world is a fine future prospect for exploitation. Well, most irregular, I shall take your preposterous request into consideration. Submitting the necessary paperwork will take no more than six infernal cycles, amounting to 37 of your mortal years. I recommend you indulge in the pleasurable torments of the boudoir while you wait. It is where Raphael conducts his most private matters of business and pleasure. You will need this to gain access. The resident favors their favorites. Satisfy them, and they may put in a good word on your behalf. Just look at... I made a mistake. I actually... They're gnawing through my guts. Spilt wine is laced with the perfume of an exquisite poison. An unexpected treat. You look positively wretched. Perfect! I thought you'd got lost and died. Mm. What's that? The archivist told you to cool off in the boudoir. Well, here it is. A horrid place where pleasure is pain and pain is pleasure and hope cannot live at all. Everything in this house exists for Raphael's pleasure and Raphael's pleasure alone. That includes Raphael himself. Whatever form he takes. How delicious. Let's crack it open. A lost little mouse is running through the house. Oh, God. What the fuck have I stumbled into? A thief in the night, greedy and here to take. 
Why are you here, little thief? Raphael? Ha! No. You will have a far crueler master than Raphael soon. But what inspired you to pay him a visit? Hmm. Raphael all but spent himself to get that hammer. And you want to take it off him? This is very naughty. Whatever are we to do? Why don't we play a game? You win, I give you everything you desire. <laughs> but you'll enjoy yourself more if you lose. It's a surprise. Off with your clothes. Good, little thief. Good. Keep going like this. And you'll get to live. You'll be crying out my name soon. You better know it. I am Harlep, Raphael's personal incubus, glamoured and transfigured to look like him. I'm a perfect copy. He only ever wants to sleep with himself. <laughs> What's better than the devil you know, eh? His violating stare sees more than all of you. It sees potential. Before we continue, I want to make sure you're comfortable. Sometimes, when he's feeling adventurous, Raphael will ask me to change into the Archduchess, Raphael. I can take her form if you choose. A simple swap pales in comparison to what you are about to do for me. Then the Archduchess I shall be. On the bed. Lie back. I already told you, it's a surprise. Don't you like surprises? thought of resistance or control is fading. You will obey, giving yourself body and mind to them. You retain a trace of free will, but it is one drop in the ocean of their desire. It will not last. Survival is all that matters. To the death.
cry about it. Slow down. Come, MP. This one won't play nice. is my happy place.
moving. Give it a shot. Keyword. This will help us get what we need from the archive. to put the debtors attire back on. It keeps the locals quiet. Seems like a good moment to talk.
When is a door not a door? When it's a jam jar! You won't find a way out here. Or a way in. Oh, there is. There is! If you stare into the portals long enough, your mind starts to do cartwheels and tricks you into thinking you're falling into a horrible, yawning void. It's one of my favorite ways to pass the time. But you have no time to waste, or time will waste you. And what you need from the house is in the archive. Not here! Enough pests. I am its keeper. The greatest pest of all. Just a corp. It used to be my prison. What interest do you have in the prison? <laughs> we all must have our hobbies, I suppose. <laughs> when you exit this chamber, and you will find a hatch that leads beneath the house. That's where they keep the naughtiest souls. I do watch out for the guards, though. They're not as reasonable as you and I. <laughs> I made a mistake. Raphael doesn't tolerate mistakes. We had one house guest by the name of Gortash. A mischievous little blot of a boy, and he slipped through my fingers. <laughs> Lord! Is that what he calls himself these days? The sniveling little shit. He was the son of a cobbler or some such meager tradesman, sold to Raphael by his loving parents to pay off a petty debt. <laughs> Lord, indeed. I used to bruise my knuckles on his whimpering little face. I'd like to have snapped his neck. Then why not get to the snapping of necks instead of the flapping of lips? <laughs> I tire of you. Stopped me yet. Moving in. Let's see what this does. Gods, I can't believe I'm doing this. We're gonna get out of here, right? Get in. We won't on the bright. Let's find that. Follow you all if you take another step. And you won't be able to see me while you're being digested! You found my prison. My body is held in chains just beyond. Presumably you intend to chew through the chains, cracking your teeth like eggshells. It won't work! The hammer is the only thing capable of shattering the chains. Yes. It is. And when you remove it, the whole house will go up in flames. Raphael will fly home. 
furious. Ready for Raphael's homecoming? Ah, he'll use you as a handkerchief. No, no, no. Don't listen to me. You're gonna do just fine. I'll be waiting. Like I have a choice. in here. Something's on my mind. Another sorry soul, despite... I am one such. I cannot help you. I... It was... A mo... Death when tra... He marked... The devil... The... You know my work. Then your action... Tell me. Replicate all towers fall in the end. Perhaps it is best that I... Someone there. Symbol. Through the telescope, a sinister vista sprawls before you, boiling rivers and sheer crags. 
a sight Disheveled of Disheveled and with a lingering odor of blood and sweat, 